What's up everyone? Today we're going to look at Go, installing our WSL and then running our first program using Genetics. The latest version of Go, 1.18, which has been recently released to GA, now supports Genetics, which has been a highly sought and highly requested feature. So let's see how you can install Go first and then write our first program. Let's do this. If you want to skip this video and go straight to the instructions, make sure to check out my blog post at uh, cmatchcast.com. First, we want to remove the old version of Go so we don't have any conflicts. Done. Next, we need to download and install or unzip the latest version of Go. You can find this in, on the official website and you can also find previous versions of Go if you want to roll back to a previous version. There are three main steps involved in the process. One is to download the zip file. The next one is to unzip it and move it to the appropriate directory. And finally, set up the environment variables so that uh, Go can be found when we run Bass. Let's do them one at a time. This is now downloading the binary from the official website. Next, we want to unzip the file. This will go on for a while, so have a little patience. And as a last step, we need to update our environment settings so that Bass can pick up the latest version of Go. I will use VS Code to edit the Bass RC file, but you can use any editor that you prefer. The default file will have probably some settings for Go. So all we need to change in this instance is the version because we made it versioned. So this will be Go 1.18 as per our previous steps where we exported and copied that uh, folder across to the user local directory. Make sure to save. And after that, we need to restart our bus. So let me just relaunch my WSL with Ubuntu. And now if we type go version, we should get the latest version that we just installed. Perfect. Next step, let's create an application or a small program that runs some genetics. I will be copy pasting what the samples have just to prove that things are working. In my projects folder, I'm going to create a new directory called genetics. And then I'm going to initialize that with Go. Let's change the directory to genetics. And let's initialize. Next, we'll open with VS Code so we can add some code. Code dot will open the current directory. And here we need to create a new file, main.go. I do not want Docker, thank you. I have already installed the Go extension for VS Code, which is super helpful if you want to run locally in debug. I would highly recommend it. You also get IntelliSense and what have you. And finally, we want to add some code. This is gonna be a copy paste, just to prove the point. Importing main, so we can run it as a console. And then we define a number interface which now makes use of genetics. And later we have a couple of functions that use the old non-genetic way of summing numbers and then a couple of functions that actually use genetics. Let's run this and see what happens. All we have to do now is type go run dot and you should execute all the codes and we should say. There you have it, genetics for the win. Download, install the latest version of Go and take it for a spin and let me know how it goes. Have fun.